One of the questions I got on our May 31st, 2017 Google Hangout was regarding Groove Agent. I get this question a lot, so I just wanted to share it with you all. And it's about reassigning the MIDI notes that are triggering pads and how to do it. So first off, you need to be aware that there's two different types of pads. There's instrument pads as well as pattern pads. So we want to be on an instrument pad. And when we look at our instrument here, we can see kind of the name of the sample often on the pad. In the upper right hand corner, we see the actual MIDI note that it's responding to. So a lot of people to change a note want to just simply double click, but that just triggers the sample. Next logical step would be to right click to assign a pad to the MIDI note, but we don't see that. What you need to do is on the lower right hand corner, there's this little icon. And once you enable that, that will allow you to do hardware controller mapping. And here you could actually set different presets. So if you have like a Yamaha DTX kit or other electronic drum kits, you could actually have some of those as presets or, or create your own presets. Once that this function is turned on, when you right click on a pad, you could actually get additional menu options. So if I wanted to uh, assign a trigger note, let's say of C5 to this particular pad, at that point I could just remap that pad. Or if I wanted to go to my trigger note, we could also just just come right here and learn the trigger note. And we can see that that's gonna be blank. I'll hit a note on my controller keyboard and that's been learned. Now, once that's been done, you can simply come right here and save your preset, whatever you want. So that way all the mappings for Groove Agent will automatically be aligned with your controller. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.